Hello everyone, welcome to my floss tube, which is Soulful Stitching, and uh, you know, I want to thank all the new people who are coming out for the first time to watch the video, and then I would like to thank all of my returning viewers um, for coming back. So I know it's been a minute, but I do have quite a few things to talk about, and I even have a finish, which is really good. So as far as life updates are concerned you know nothing different everybody's doing really good um, my wife is doing great um, i'm doing great my son's doing great so you know we're just kicking and thriving like every you know uh, like everybody else but i do want to give a shout out to all of the stitchers that live in you know california washington and oregon you know just to please stay safe i know that's kind of cliche and you know, of course you're going to stay safe. So you never really know what to say or what's appropriate to say in a situation like that. But you guys are all are all in my, my thoughts and my prayers. Um, and uh, also just want to give a special shout out to Janet Jabber as well. You know, we're thinking about you and we're really hoping that things turn uh, for the better and that we hope we see you back on Floss Tube soon. Um, and speaking of shout outs, I want to give another special person a shout out too. And I've been meaning to do it every single time I do a video, but I totally forget. And that's Carolyn Zook. Um, C. Zook St Stitches um, is her floss tube. Um, she also has a YouTube, um, a Facebook group, C. Zook St Stitches as well. And then <clears throat> she has a group um, with her friend Robin Hall which is a monthly magazine um, challenge group. And basically what we do is we take magazines that are just collecting dust on our shelves and we fit them in an acrostic and we come up with patterns out of them and um, we make, you know, have them fit in the acrostic and we stitch from them. And I just wanna, you know, give a special shout out to her, thank her for, you know, coming up with this. Thank you so much. And, you know, all the time and energy that you guys have put into um, making these groups really, really great. I'm really happy to be a part of them. I'm really happy to be um, acquainted, a friend of yours. Um, and, you know, looking forward to getting to know Robin more as we, you know, as I continue to be a participant in the groups and the challenges and different things like that. So um, let's talk about stitching. So as I told you guys before, I had changed up my planning routine, I guess you want to call that, and the planner that I used, that I just used this monthly planner, which is, takes me through a full year, and I write down every single day what I've stitched on. And then I have two bins. I have a daily bin that has whips in it, and then I have a 30 minute a day bin that has whips in it. And I have the little totter, the decision wheel app um, that uh, comes up, you know, that I spin. And I kind of been slacking on the 30 minutes a day uh, because work has been a little bit stressful. Um, stitching really hasn't been on my mind a lot this week. I got to do a little bit yesterday. Um, and when I get finished this video and tomorrow, I'm going to get some stitching done. But it was just kind of really stressful mentally uh, to where I really just wasn't into stitching. But um, I did get a lot done through um, the month of August. Um, there was only one two, three, four out of the whole entire month. Oh, uh, five, six, seven. Yeah, well, out of 30 days, seven days, that's not really doing too good in my opinion. To where I missed stitching. Um, that I didn't get any stitching in. But looking at my calendars, I was also kind of monogamous. I only stitched on the same thing throughout the whole entire month. Um, and kind of you know, falling into that same routine for um, the month of September. So let's let's talk about what I stitched. Um, one of the things that I stitched on that has been just oh my goodness, just has been hanging out and hanging out for years 
that I really need to get done. I didn't like the original fabric, so I changed it. I don't like this fabric. Jen Stitching Knit, she stitched this and it looked really, really good. And what I'm talking about is Barbara Anna's um, October 31st. This bad boy has been hanging out for quite some time. And I'm using all of the called for uh, Valdani threads along with a couple DMCs that that she requires you to use. So originally I was using a piece of fabric like this and I just didn't like it because the white was or the aged white light was not showing up like I wanted it to and I, and I just I didn't like it. So then I got this piece of 32 count raw which is okay. I mean, it, it, it's all right, but, oh, let me fold that. Yeah, that looks better. It's, it's okay, but as you can see, it's all big and bulky, and, but I don't want to keep pulling threads out and restarting it over because the next thing you know, I'm going to go through all of my threads and I didn't even finish the project. I've lost all of my threads due to starting and stopping. So I'm probably just going to still go ahead and finish in on that. But, ugh. I, don't you hate it when you're like indecisive? It, it's like so annoying. Um, the other thing that I worked on on the 30 minutes a day, which I got this from watching Christine stitch all the things which is these Christmas Sentiment by Stony Creek. This is, I love this one. But I didn't get too far because I had found that I had made a mistake when I originally stitched it. So I had to pull out all the stitches and re-stitch it again. And I'm stitching it on a piece of 28 count of uh, even we from Michaels that I hand dyed, um, which is just like a minty green, and I'm using the DMC conversion for this. So this is how far I've gotten. Then I'm probably going to work on this a little more today. Just putting it in my hands and touching it and, and looking at it is making me want to work on it. The only thing I don't like is I made the green a little bit too light to wear the white. Um, it's going to be hard to show up, but I love it. So I'm just basically going to deal with it. You know, hopefully everybody else will be able to see the, see the white on it. Um, the other one that I spun for 30 minutes a day was Country Cottage Needleworks Glitter House, the series. I've got all of them, one through nine, and I'm only on one right now. And this is where I am at. And yeah, there we go. So I still have some filling in to do on the house. And you don't even want to know what I did, which was so freaking stupid. I'm, I'm just ashamed to even tell you this. I took a Sharpie and tried to make the buttons and mess that up. So I have to frog all of this out and fix it. I know that was just like a total stupid move. I don't even know what I was thinking. Um, so I'll fix that and just put some black beads on it. Okay. So now let's get into, and see, I really hadn't been dedicated to the stitch the 30 minutes per day. Um, you know, just because a lot of stress was 
what's going on as far as um, work is concerned. Um, but now that I've kind of gotten over the hump with that and things are going to be going a lot smoother, I'm going to go ahead and get back into doing that 30 minutes a day um, stitching. But um, the main things that I had been working on uh, for the month of August was the design by Tiny Modernist which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. I'm just looking for the cover page. Just bear with me for one second. And it is the Tidy Modernist Halloween Ouija. And I'm not really doing the whole Ouija thing. I'm going to be changing um, quite a bit on this, um, which I think it's going to look great when I get done, and so I'm not going to tell you. And I am stitching this on an 18 count cream, which is showing up beautifully, and um, I'm using the DMC silk floss or rayon floss, whatever you want to call it, and this is where I'm at. And that rayon floss is showing up really good. So up here, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to tell. Maybe, maybe not. I'm using the glow-in-the-dark floss uh, for the moon here and for the sun over here. So it's a little difficult, but not really. And like I said, because I love the way the, the DMC is showing up, the silk is showing up on this one. I'm just going to have to kind of take a loss, or not even really a loss, but just deal with the fact that the white is going to, or the glow-in-the-dark floss is going to be hard to see, because um, I'm not going to change it. So, that's one that I've been working on. The next one that I had been working on for the month of August, it is Mrs. Bingley's Library, if you know me. You know that Pride and Prejudice is one of my favorite movies. So to have this sitting there and not getting worked on was not going to happen. And let me see here. I am using the called for floss with hers. There's a couple that I had to substitute only because they didn't have them in stock. So, and this is where I'm at. Now, I thought this was a 40 count linen. Um, no. This is not a 40 count linen. This is much smaller than that. And I don't know what it is. And I know that there's a way that you can um, figure out the stitches. But I don't really know how to do it. So I'm not going to do it. So I just know that it's smaller than 40 count. But that's one of the other ones that I've been working on. Another one. Oh, okay. Never mind. Let me see here. Another one that I had been working on is called. And I found this one by watching Michelle Bendy. And this one is called Wicked Plant by Barbara, Barbara Anna Designs. And I am stitching this one over one on 28 count oatmeal linen. And I think this linen came from Annie B's, I think. And that's where I'm at. Not far at all. But with October coming right around the corner, a lot of these I'm going to be pushing in my everyday bin for the month of October. To really get them done now we're going to talk about projects that I worked on that are considered haul plus whips so one of the projects that I received that I purchased excuse me is called um, Christmas list my Christmas list by Silver Creek Samplers. Everybody has seen this one. 
and I wasn't going to do it because as you can see it's a big one. it's it's pretty big but every single time Priscilla and Chelsea kept showing it on their video I'm like you know I, I have to do this one so this is where I'm at I'm only doing it on 18 count oatmeal Ada and this is where I'm at so far not far at all so that was a piece of haul slash whip. another one that I worked on that is considered a piece of haul but is also a whip for me is called witchcrafts by the witchy stitcher and it's not the witchcrafts like you would think it's the witchcrafts in the sense of you know you have the scissors here the pin cushion you have the spool of thread um, and you have the needle threaders and you have some needles with some thread bits of thread coming out of it so I really thought this one was cute I had to had to get that one and I, I love the colors the colors are absolutely beautiful on this and I'm doing this on a piece of 32 count charcoal I think and this is where I am at I love that skull. Okay. Next up, that's another piece of haul considered whip. All right. I love you. You guys have a good time. Um, it's called Autumn Avenue. Hold on one second. Because I think our dog might be in the hallway and he tries to run out the door. Is Maxwell in the hallway? Okay. So this is called Autumn Avenue. And I cannot remember who showed this one. But when I seen it, I was like, oh yeah, baby. Yes. And I'm using all of the call for except for one, two, three, four, only because one, two, three stitch was out of them. And I am really enjoying this. I'm using everything called for. Um, it calls for 28 count Lugana even weave and wheat. But I think because they had a shortage on the 28 count that I'm actually stitching it on 32. I believe that's what they said. But I could be wrong. But anyway, this is where this is where I'm at. Look at those leaves. Those leaves are just I love I love the color. Love love the colors. Love the colors. Now, let's talk a little bit more about haul, and then I will get into my finish. So, the other piece of haul that I got. Now, this, I got this a while ago, but it was after the previous video, so I haven't showed them. DMC came out with more colors for their Diamant collection, but this is Diamant Grande. I just dropped one it's a gold color so we have like a rose gold or yeah I think it looks more like a rose gold we have that we have like a deep silver we have a light silver and we have a medium silver and then we have a gold and the reason why I purchased those is is one because they're cool and two 
I like them a lot better than Krennic. So I'll either use Petite Treasure Braid or my Diamond. Next, another thing that you guys have seen everybody flashing all over is I got my Just Cross Stitch Edition for October. Love it. I think it's great. And then I got... Let me see here. Yes. That piece of charcoal that um, linen that I was using for the witchcrafts is called charcoal. And then I also received, purchased this as well. And this is called Souvenirs of the Heart. Autumn in Amana with thy needle and thread. Okay. And the other piece of that charcoal fabric that. Now, another piece of haul that I got that I normally don't show on my videos is my Victorian Motto thread because everybody shows them. And if you've seen one, you've seen them all. But this was a really cool collection that I got this time around. And I really wanted to share it with you. Um, the collection that I got this month or for the month of August is actually called the Farmhouse Collection. And it the colors in this is just absolutely gorgeous. I get the 12 skein um, subscription and I've been with Nancy for quite some time. And uh, as long as financially things continue to go well, I don't uh, plan on stopping at any point. So um, I love her threads, they are amazing. So the first one that I got is called Farmhouse Quilting Bee, Farmhouse Barn, Farmhouse Stone, Farmhouse Asters, Farmhouse Windmill, Farmhouse Lilacs, Farmhouse Grist Mill, Farmhouse Granary, Farmhouse Cedar Mill, Farmhouse Berry Patch. Farmhouse Garden. And last, Farmhouse Carrot Patch. And I, I love those. Normally, like I said, I don't show them because if you've seen one, you've seen them all, uh, so to speak. Um, I belong to her Primitive Club Edition. And... Um, I'm going to leave those out. I'm going to put those away when I get in it. Um, so, you know, that's pretty much all that's been going on with me. I've been getting a lot of stitching done. Um, but last but not least, let me show you the finish that I got, um, that I completed. And this has been sitting in my whip uh, bin for three years, and I finally can put it away. And it is the Autumn's Little House Needlework Autumn ABCs. And this is my own color conversion. I, you know, just use what I had in my stash. And here we go. And it is 28 count, one over one on oatmeal. And there you go. And as, as far as finishing it, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not a sewer or anything like that. Um, not to say that I can't learn just like anybody else. But um, as of today, I am not a sewer. So I don't know how I'm going to finish it or if I will even finish it. Um, so, you know, again, that's all that's going on with me. So I want to thank you for coming out and joining me and, you know, coming back. 
and uh, you know just really appreciate all the support and the love and um, you know just continue to smile and, and stay happy I know we got a lot of different things going on out in the world today um, oh and another shout out that I want to give out is uh, Amanda May from Artist Design she's absolutely amazing her smile and her laughter her little pugs are so infectious There's, it's just I love watching her because when I'm having a moment or whatever you know you just cannot watch her and be sour a sour puss like you can't do it she's just so funny and and Luna May and um, Loki Apple the pugs they they are just so precious and so darling so again you guys just continue to have a great week and thank you so much for coming out and spending time with me and I hope to see you back bye